what's happening everybody? Welcome to the art studio. I'm Charles Maring and today I just got my Lumix 70 to 200 F4 like a certified lens in. We're going to open it up together, take a look at it. There's actually a couple of features to this lens that are unique to any other lens that I've seen on the market. We're going to get into it, so stay tuned. <laughs> So I have to admit, I spent a little bit of time with this lens, not a lot, but a little bit of time with this lens as I was traveling with the Lumix S1 and doing some Lumix speaking engagements and whatnot. Uh, and I just got mine in today, so I'm excited to spend a little more time with it. I thought, let's open it up together, take a look at it, because I know that there are a couple cool features to this lens that I just haven't seen in other brands of lenses. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, handsome box with another box inside. Let's take a look in here first. So what we have here is a lens cap. That of course is important. We also have a lens bag. Uh, yeah, perfect. And it is kind of like a canvas bag. Has some padding to it, drawstrings as well. So that's kind of cool. Let's open up the lens cap here. Uh, one of the things I'm enjoying about the lens caps on the S series of lenses is that they are locking lens caps as well. Uh, I tend to lose lens caps very quickly and easily, so that's kind of a welcomed thing. There are instructions inside of the box also, it looks like. And then we have our lens here to boot. Let's open it up here. This is a really well-constructed lens, by the way. Um, of extremely high standards, uh, all metal construction, and one of the features that I think is really cool that I really haven't seen on other lenses is that this is, um, the collar here is actually Arca Swiss, as you can see here. And the beauty of that is when I go to put this on my tripod, let's just grab it here, um, I don't have to have a plate for this. It's just going to slide right on, lock into place. Um, well, I say that, maybe I got to do it backwards here. Slide right on, lock into place. And uh, yeah, so I don't need an extra plate for it. And so that's a really beautiful thing. Uh, the other thing is it is 77 millimeter on the front. Same as the 24 to 70, also same as the 50 millimeter 1.4. So that's kind of a nice thing. And again, this locking lens cap is a nice thing as well. Let's take it off and take a little closer look here. One of the cool things also I'll mention is that uh, it has a locking, or I should say a clutch to go from manual focus to autofocus right here. This all feels really smooth and elegant, both for the zoom and for the focus. You've got a switch for optical stabilization to be on and off. And what I want to mention about that is, yes, this is an optically stabilized lens. And the beauty of Lumix is the fact that you can do um, both in-camera body stabilization, but also lens stabilization. If you were Micro Four Thirds user, user, you're used to that because that's been on the GH5 and lots of the G series cameras, but that does carry over now to the full frame S series as well. Let's dive into B&H, take a little closer look at some of the specs here. This lens comes at it, in at uh, $1697.99. Uh, it is an L mount full frame lens, aperture range of F4 to F22. Let's see what else is important. The optical image stabilizer we mentioned, it's weather sealed construction, as you can see. Uh, removal, uh, removable rotating tripod collar, and it is a nine blade diaphragm. The other thing is that it's, uh, the dual AF system is linear and stepping motors. And we haven't gotten into this yet, but the Lumix S1 also has in the menu of the camera the ability to switch from linear or non-linear as far as your manual focus is concerned. And what's cool about that is, it, although it is focused by wire, typically the faster you, you know, move the lens, the faster it focuses, but it also can be kind of unforgiving on nailing focus. 
Well, when you switch it inside the camera body, you can now choose to have your focus pools, the entire focus pool be 90 degrees, which is great for handheld work like I'm doing a lot of times, or 120 degrees or 180 degree rotation and beyond. And now if you are kind of doing handheld, maybe 90 is your favorite. But if you want to do a very long, slow focus pull, maybe you want it to be a full 360 uh, in terms of how much you have to turn the lens. And so that way it's not speed driven or speed related uh, and it makes the focus by wire system on these lenses and these cameras for manual so much better than we've experienced in the past. So kind of an interesting new thing. I will go into the menu and talk about that in more detail and show you guys uh, in a future video. Uh, so yeah, excited to get my uh, 70 to 200 in today. I'm going to be spending some time working with this lens. We'll do a full review of it certainly once I get out and work with it and get some more experience, get to create some images. We'll be sharing them here on our channel. With that said, still waiting on my 51.4 uh, and a couple of other things that are on the way as well. Uh, when things come in, I'll certainly share them with you guys so we can kind of give you some insight of what to expect if you placed an order for these things. Uh, as well as some of the cool features that come along with them. So that's a wrap for today, everybody. We appreciate you. Have a great one. Take care.